What is this fucking fixation with the future? Listen, pal, I've got chronic systolic palpitations and acute fucking neuralgia. What about these toilets? Can I smoke in here? No, you fucking can't. Let me ask you a question. What? Have you ever had the sense that you've lived in a time different from this one? What, you mean like in a past life? Could be, yeah. Yeah, well, in my past life, I was dead. Oh, well, you see, I wasn't. I know I was here in the past before I was born. So I know I'm going to be here in the future after I've died. I see. And in this alternative existence, did you still have the same noxious body odour? It's nothing to be personal. It's what I believe. Shall I tell you what I believe? You don't believe in anything. Oh, I do, Brian. Yeah? What do you believe? Do you think that the amoeba ever dreamed that it would evolve into the frog? Of course it didn't. And when that first frog shimmied out of the water and employed its vocal cords in order to attract a mate or to retard a predator, do you think that that frog ever imagined that that incipient croak would evolve into all the languages of the world, into all the literature of the world? Of course it fucking didn't. And just as that froggy could never possibly have conceived of as Shakespeare, so we can never possibly imagine our destiny. I know what my destiny is. Yeah, but what you're experiencing, as far as I can gather, with all these manifestations of uh, regression and precognition and transmigratory astral fucking chatterings, is just the equivalent of that first primeval grunt. Because evolution isn't over. Man isn't the be-all and fucking end-all. Look, if you take the whole of time represented by one year, we're only in the first few moments of the 1st of January. There's a long way to go. Only now we're not going to sprout extra limbs and wings and fins because evolution itself is evolving. And whereas you, through some process of extra sensory recall, might imagine that you were some, I don't know, some 17th century little Dutch girl living in a windmill in old Amsterdam, one day you'll realise that you've had not just one or two past or future existences, but that you were and are everybody and everything that has ever been or will ever be. Hang on a minute. You just contradicted yourself. Oh, and how'd you make that out? Downstairs, you were predicting the end of the world. Now you're talking about the future. How do you explain that, eh? Easy. When it comes, the apocalypse itself will be part of the process of that leap of evolution. Yeah. Well, whatever happens, mankind will not cease to exist. We must. By the very definition of apocalypse, mankind must cease to exist, at least in a material form. What do you mean, in a material form? Well, it'll evolve. What into? Into something that transcends matter, into a species of pure thought. Are you with me? Yeah. Like a ghost. <laughs> no, not like a fucking ghost, your big girl's blouse. Into something that's like well beyond our comprehension. Into a universal consciousness, into God, who is, by the same principle that time is. You don't believe in God. Of course I believe in God. <laughs>